Hello, today I will be talking about Pope Carlos, also known as the Man of Prayer. Pope Carlos was born with the name Azar Yusuf on August 2nd, 1902, into a God-fearing family in Egypt. From a young age, his parents planted in him the beauty of holiness. His mother Esther passed away when he was young. The most important gift his mother introduced him was the love of St. Mina, which started a beautiful relationship between St. Mina and him. When Pope Carlos was 25, he joined El Baramos Monastery and he was ordained as Mina El Baramosi. An interesting fact was he was not ordained after St. Mina the Wonder Worker. He later moved into a broken and dangerous windmill to get away and focus on his holy life. But by the grace of God, he managed to live there for a long time. Pope Carlos left us with many great miracles that we hear about until this day. But the most important lesson we can learn from him was the way of dealing with others. As a pope, he did not leave any barriers between him and his children. Anyone of his children can come and talk to him. Sometimes, if they come and he was sleeping, St. Mina would wake him up. Whenever anyone had any problems, they would always ask him for his help, and he would always pray for them. That was the tool in handling any problems that arose, which is why he took prayer very seriously. He would always attend liturgy so early that the doors would still be locked. However, by his prayer, they would always open for him. He would always ask the saints to help people with their problems. His strength in all that he achieved in the church was through his prayer. As Pope Carlos always said, there is never a good or bad day. There would only be a day without prayer.